games are great. Here are 10 of the best ones you can play with friends in 2018. So we've already talked about some of the best free games on PC, but of course, there's always more games than we can fit on one single list. Consider this then the accompaniment to our other collection of the very best titles where you don't have to hand over your card details or so. This time though, they're all about the best games you can play with friends. From old school MMORPGs to brand new battle royale face-offs, here are the best free games you can play with your best humans, or even the humans you don't like very much, in 2018. So here's the thing, Roblox isn't one game at all, it's countless games. It's good games and bad games and weird games where you have to kill chickens with swords and collect the eggs they drop. It's blocky theme park simulators and pizza parlours that you really wouldn't want to eat from. And that's okay because hopping between worlds on this imagination platform is like jumping between the brains of a whole world of creators. Every month, more than 64 million players create and play in Roblox's worlds. All you need to do is create yourself a character, yep, here's where those Robux come in with the personalization options, and then get started. Whether you're there to play or build your own levels, this is an incredible platform for budding game developers to learn their craft in blocky form. Just don't blame us when you've spent hours making pizza and don't have any real, uh, dough to show for it. Welcome to Rayclast. From the moment you wake up on its shores, bedraggled and weak, this is a ridiculously satisfying world of combat and skill trees. It's worth noting straight away that there are few, if any, action RPGs that offer up this kind of experience for shelling out exactly none of your hard-earned cashola. Choose your class and this is a world of dangerously vast proportions. Skill trees are endless, you'll lose yourself in the gem-based customization options, and collectors will practically melt, trying to hunt down as many items as possible for even more custom builds. Everything can be played with and switched out, and while it starts off simple, you'll quickly tumble down a subclass hole where every element of your character build can be replaced to suit your playstyle. Progression never feels stilted, and even better, you'll never feel like you have to put a hand in your pocket to win. Vast and exhilarating fantasy, Path of Exile is everything you want it to be. It's nice not to be dead yet. Of course Bioware's MMORPG was going to be on here, we aren't on the dark side after all. Star Wars The Old Republic has been on the go since 2011, still attracts millions of players, and is still happily getting expansions. If you haven't delved into this tale from a galaxy far, far away, The Old Republic set more than 3,600 years before the events of the Star Wars movies. You won't find Chewie and Co here, but it turns out that the Sith and the Jedi have never been friends. Who knew? And The Old Republic is full of warring factions and politics. You can choose to join either the Galactic Republic or, boo hiss, the Sith Empire, but you aren't stuck to the darker light side. Your morals can guide you through whoever you play as, so if you dream of a Sith warrior turning their back on the Empire's nefarious ways, you can absolutely choose that path. With a whole universe to explore, romance options, and the chance to battle in full-on starship battles, Star Wars The Old Republic delivers a truly authentic Star Wars experience. Bioware? Yoda best. Get it? Yoda? Best? Looks like it's time for a bloodbath. Let's face it, you would totally watch a TV show of people battling it out to the death. Stop lying to yourself about those pesky morals. While other battle royale games are a little less about watching people murder each other, the Darwin Project goes full Hunger Games on the genre. This is all about entertainment. There are only 10 people in this killer game show, but the really interesting part is the 11th player who acts as the director. Yes, that's just as ominous as it sounds. This player can flick around the map, handing other players abilities or literally painting targets on backs. The Darwin Project also has a survival element, so you've got the cold to take into consideration as well as an omnipresent mini-god and lethal other players. Playing with friends can seriously ruin friendships. Do you trust your best mate not to cool you down and send other players scuttling in your direction armed to the teeth? Nope, didn't think so. Two players remaining. Why would you play anything other than Fortnite? Well, maybe you're bored of it, maybe you don't like building, maybe you want to ride around on a horse instead of inside a battle bus, and those are just a few of the reasons it's worth trying Realm Royale if you're suffering from Fortnite fatigue. They certainly share the same DNA, they're both battle royale games with random weapons and a shrinking map, and they both have a chunky cartoon art style that will resonate with a younger audience. But perhaps the most obvious difference in Realm Royale is that when you die, you transform into a chicken. Yep. That's right, a great big cartoon chicken. But it's not just a 
adorably stupid, it gives you a second peck of the cherry if you get killed but manage to survive as the helpless flag-waving fowl for 20 seconds, which is great. Until you're the one left chasing chickens like a medieval farmhand. Get back here, clucker! Wheels? Where we're going, we don't need wheels. Okay, it's a tank game, but this isn't just any tread-based shooter. This is World of Tanks, one of the most successful free-to-play games of all time and for good reason. You're no lone gunman here. This is an explosive MMO that sucked in millions of hours and probably dollars in the eight years it's been trundling over countless surprisingly beautiful battlefields. The loop is dangerously compelling. Battle real live opponents, get stacks of loot, earn new tanks, gear, crew and abilities, and then do the whole cycle all over again. Yes, you'll be tempted to spend real money on a very fake tank, but it's all part of the explosive yet armour-plated charm. You could say, tanks for the memories, wargaming. No? Fine. Worth flagging, if you're still here after that terrible pun, is the also excellent War Thunder if you want a more realistic and technical tank experience. It'll also set you back no money whatsoever. Victory indeed. So the heavy hitters just keep coming. Get your Battle.net account sorted and fire up StarCraft 2 if you want to dive into a staggeringly compelling real-time strategy game that will cost you absolutely zero dollar. There's obviously the multiplayer element that's now the small matter of one of the biggest esports in the world, but don't miss out on the campaign that's also included completely free. Each mission is finely crafted in true Blizzard style. Just look at those cutscenes. And it's never just a case of rinse and repeat as you take down foes. Blizzard constantly mixes things up, forcing you to try different tactical approaches and uh, real-time strategy. Who knew? There's no getting away from how beautiful StarCraft is either. Dive in here and you'll find some seriously eye-wateringly pretty visuals as you journey across the galaxy. Like a fine wine, StarCraft 2 is only getting better with age. Do we have to do this without making a Nintendo reference? Okay, here we go. Brawlhalla is a lot like a free PC version of one particular game. We'll call it Super Crash Brothers to save any confusing. Crash Brothers players will be right at home here with light and heavy attacks and multiple arenas, but Brawlhalla is far more than just a single screen clone. Weapons tumble from the skies for your stylish characters, known here as legends, and every match is a joy of cartoon chaos and perfect platforming as you dash and jump to avoid tumbling into the abyss. Being dropped into each arena is like jumping into the best kind of carnage, and even nicer is the fact that there's no paying for progression or the edge here. You'll just get handed all of the legends if you choose to invest and pay for the ridiculously good time you're having while avoiding being smacked off an ice platform with an axe. There's a lot of team shooters out there, but there's very few that tell you specifically not to be a rotter straight off the bat. Okay, Dirty Bomb doesn't exactly use the word rotter, but we're very polite here on Logitech G. Regardless, it's important to this team shooter that you work well with others. The focus here is all about your fellow players and making sure you've got each other's backs. Jumping into London after a series of, well, dirty bombs, you play as one of a selection of mercenaries teaming up, each with their own skills and abilities. It's business as usual when it comes to shooter objectives, but working together is the only way to win here. Studio Splash Damage wants you to hone your skills and reaction times, and it really works. It's old school, but in a modern way, and you'll definitely learn who your friends really are when the going inevitably gets tough. It's fine to take a breather here, just don't do the same in real combat. And finally, there's just this small matter of Dota 2. It's just this little indie title, you probably won't have heard of it. Jokes aside, Dota 2, the standalone follow-up to Community Warcraft 3 mod Defense of the Ancients, is still one of the biggest MOBAs in the world, even if it's a very different beast from games such as League of Legends. It's somewhat intimidating to start at the beginning. This is a game with years of intense scrutiny on strategy, but make your way through the tutorial and you'll uncover exactly the reason that Dota 2 is still so fiercely alive. This is a game that takes hundreds of hours to even slightly master, but manages to be so constantly compelling with its team play that you can't deny the appeal. Appeal. Play it and weep for all the other games that will just never get their turn. Get her while you can! So that's it, the 10 best games on PC that you don't have to pay any of your cash to play. Let us know if we missed your favourite, check out the rest of our top 10 PC game lists in the link on screen, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one.